What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So listen, I came to Florida for a business meeting and we decided to go out and try to catch some big old swordfish. And that didn't work out because you just don't go out and just automatically catch a swordfish. But I had a late flight the next day. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go fishing. Who am I going fishing with? I'm going fishing with that dude right there. That's Nick, y'all remember him from the Peacock Bass episode that's currently airing on Realtree 365 where we, he took us down to the Everglades and uh, Christy caught her first peacock from the kayak. It was amazing. We had an awesome time. But right now, we're taking it to the bank. Fish on. That's a toe, brother. Golly. Get him. Get him. There he goes. Oh, oh, oh. She is fired up. Oh, got her. Look at that right there. All right, guys. So here's what we're going to do today. We're basically pulling up to the thousands of canals and creeks and little pockets around the Fort Lauderdale area. Uh, this is not Nick's home base. This nope. is, uh, but this is what you do when it comes to fishing. You explore. So I called him. I said, hey, let's go, uh, let's go fishing. He said, dude, I don't have a second kayak right now. I'm like, let's just go bank fishing. So he's got the old backpack on, grabbed a couple of rods. We're, we're just going to go after peacock. And more importantly, we're going to see if we can't catch a snakehead okay, on top water. We're going to have our buddy Ryan from uh, Tyke Anglers of Florida coming out in a bit. He works night shift, so he doesn't get off until a little bit later in the morning. So uh, here we go. Boom. Just They're here. Just spook them off. So we just saw a snakehead spook off right there. So guys, it's guys. That means they're here, guys. Oh my God, guys. We're going to try to catch one and then do maybe a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Right. I'm just kidding. Sorry about that bad Monster Mike impression. Monster Mike, I love you, even though you don't call me anymore or answer my phone, answer my calls. But I know how it is. You big time in me now, bro. Love you, though. All right, so we're about to get this thing go. Get, we're about to get this party started. I would say that there should be one in that culvert hole right there. Like just laying right. Oh, oh, let's do it. Watch this, guys. This is how you do it. You get it. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? I got to be honest with you. Sometimes, even if you don't catch a fish, if you're just out here making good casts, it's like gratifying. Oh, look, hey, look at this pea right here. Right here, right here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's like five of them. Let me see if I can, uh... You got any, uh... uh I got some lures. You got any pea stuff? Yes, I do. Let's see. Uh, -na -na -na. Uh, -na -na -na. Any of y'all know about Master P? Y'all comment in the comment section if you know anything about Master P. I just dated myself. Kinda, kinda old. Ooh, in the kitchen, son. I mean, we can experiment around. I'm just saying there's a little dude right there that just keeps coming out. Are you kidding me? Did y'all see that cast, bro? Skipped it in the hole. The question is, can I do it back to back? That is the question. Bruh! Are you kidding me, son? No, I just hit the edge. <laughs> I could have, I, I, I safety up because I thought it was going to fly up on the road and I feathered the line. What is going on with you, you little hook? <laughs> oh, I put it in the other hole. I literally put it in that other pie. I skipped it into that pipe hole. Did y'all see that? I literally skipped it into that second hole. Now, I tried to do it, but I really didn't believe I was going to do it because it's up off the water, but I skipped it into that hole. Let's take another look at that real quick. See, the problem right now is if we get anywhere there's any kind of sun coming through, yeah. the sun's at our back. So it's like pushing. So guys, if you see, the sun's at our back right here. So if you get anywhere, and this is a tip you can take, not just for bank fishing, but for kayak fishing. If the sun's at your back and it casts your shadow out where you're trying to fish, you're just going to spook the fish. You know how like when you see the birds fly over and the fish just go everywhere? Right. Same concept. Plus, I like seeing if we can hit them off that other bank. And that's a, oh man. That's another tip. Another tip except you shouldn't get hung up when you do it. 
But another tip is to cast up on the bank and then pull it into the water. Yeah. Especially with snakehead a lot of time, you'll get hit that's the best. like right when it falls off the bank. So, okay, that's the problem is I didn't have my hook skinned in there. There's little crevices and stuff on the side of the bank. So guys, I'm gonna show you a trick real quick. Actually, Nick, why don't you come over? I'm gonna show you this trick as well. I don't think a lot of people know this trick about horny toads yep. uh, or any of these split belly toads. Mm -hmm. So right now what I've been doing is I've been skinning it, okay? And a lot of times what happens is after you tear it a couple times, you know, you can change the angle and you can reskin it, but you're gonna tear the back up. Let me show you a trick for fishing grass. Just flip the toad over just like that. All you gotta do is flip it 180. And then take your hook and line it up with your thumb so you know where to come through. Mm -hmm. Come through in that slot and then just pull it down and hide it in the pocket. Now it's completely weedless, but when they just barely touch it, watch this. When they just barely touch it, boop, that hook pops out and they're good to go. And you don't have to skin it. The friction of the rubber right. or of the plastic just holds the hook in that pocket. It's nice and clean. And you can use both sides so you can get the mileage out of the frog. But a lot of people will tear it up, throw it away after it doesn't skin yep. anymore. Yep. So just flip it upside down and watch this guys it actually skips better that way let me show you something let me show you all a little trick the frog when it's rigged upside down it just skips a whole lot better you see how far that thing skip now if you're to down at a low angle actually let me get down here on this rock and show you all what i'm talking about if you're down at a low angle you can actually look at that skip it all the way across that creates a commotion it looks like a bait fish that's trying to run away and the fish look up they see the target take off after it and eat it so keep that kink out of your bait Roll that hook in there right in the pocket, tuck it inside, bam! You have got a more effective, more weedless Zoom Horny Toad. This might sound weird, but I even hook him up on the side. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And I save them after I tear them up and I cut the nose off and put them on jigs and I use them as jig trailers. Yeah, when you're on a budget, trying to save those toads or not only that sometimes it's just the fact that you've got them and you're out in the middle of the nowhere and you don't have them you know so yeah i'm a big budget guy too here's the thing i grew up in a trailer park and everything was we fought for everything so i didn't matter it doesn't matter how successful i ever am in my life i'm never going to be the person that just wastes stuff and i'm also never going to be the person that doesn't that takes things for granted you know what i'm saying so i always try to milk everything i can out of every bait i call that concept the rebate concept because you know how a rebate gives you money back so if you rebate your lure if you rebate it it gives you more money back so um and i know that there's different oh look at that son and i know there's people at different circumstances different phases of their life there's young college kids high school kids people with a job a family that say anything i could do to save a dollar lets me fish more was that fish right out in the middle Oh, okay. So guys, one of the cool things about Florida is how wild Florida is. Look at this frame right here that is blocking that hole. And there's a little baby owl right there. I'll try to crop in to show it to you, but it's right there. Little owl. Wait, right there. Little baby owl. I think that's a baby. Maybe that's the full grown owl. Let's come around and see what this sign says. It says burrowing owl nest molesting owls or their nests is a crime please report violations to the fwcc website that is not the greatest drawing of a burrowing owl but that's the owl right there that's pretty cool all right guys don't molest owls actually a good rule a good rule of thumb in life is that if you just don't molest anything you'll be good so, so nick can you think of anything that you could molest and it's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, um, I'll put you on the spot. Can I mean, you think of it? Honestly, oh, you're putting me on the spot. Is there oh, anything awesome. you can think of that you could molest? You could molest this rod. Okay, well, <laughs> we're going to go molest these fish. How's that sound? How are you? Pretty spot you got there. Hey, Nick. Peacock right here. Come get him, son. Come get him. That's a that's a pretty decent one too. No. Nah. Get him on the jerk bait. See him right there? In that little sand spot? Just to the back side of it. Get him, son. Oh, oh, dude, 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 dude. Oh, 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 bro. 
Oh, you know what? He's kind of guarding. I wonder if he hit the frog. Let's see. I did. Let's see if I can get him to. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, she's guarding. All right, we'll figure out something to get this joker to eat, but let's let's try the frog a, a couple more times because this is uh, this is going to be kind of fun. Probably should do something smaller so she can get it in her mouth, but if I did things I was probably supposed to do, I wouldn't be where I'm at in my life right now. Dart? Huh? A dart? You got a dart? You think that'll work? All right, let's see here. Guys, we got this peacock right there on the other side of that tube. I'm going to throw this frog back there. I'm going to bring it in, and I'm going to kill it and see what it does if I just let it fall. Oh, it smashed it. Oh, it smashed it again. Can you guys see it? Dude, it is smashing. Hold on. What is it? Try it a couple times. Huh? Dude, oh, dude, that'll probably work. So we just got to change it out with the same hook, right? Yep. Oh, bro. Yeah, let's try this. Let's go ahead. That's freaking money, bro. Remember you gave me this in the Keys and I, or in uh, Everglades, and Everglades, I just fly yeah. and smash the crap out of them. All right, so we're going to thread this little thing on there. So this thing is called a dart. It's actually made by a company called Band of Brothers, which is the new brainchild of a lure genius named Patrick Sibyl. And he's actually a good friend of mine. And uh, Nick happens to be a big fan of their products and a big uh, advocate for them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to throw this thing and see if we can tuck that little hook in there just like that. And we're going to see if we can get that peacock right there to eat it. So here we go. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so if we had a like a really small Cinco, we could put it on a like a one out hook and that fish would be guaranteed caught, but we don't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make do with what we got. We're gonna make it happen, son. Nick, while we're doing this, if we figure out we can't catch it on this, yep. be thinking about what's the smallest bait that you got that might work, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the one you were already throwing? I've got, I've got a, a chrome one for you. Okay, so let's give it like two or three more chances at this thing. So what I found is if you expose the hook just a little yeah. bit, at the, yeah. right, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah baby. Great minds. Right, so now we're going to see if this, uh, let me see if I can hide myself behind this pipe a little bit. Get that fish to come in there and eat it. Oh, oh, you gotta wait. yeah, but oh, I tried to wait long enough, but it, it like thumped the crap out of it. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was interesting. So what it is, guys, you got to understand these peacock are tropical fish. And so they'll spawn multiple times down here in Florida because the water temperature kind of comes in and out of their spawning range. And, uh, it may seem like it doesn't make sense based on what you think about for largemouth and smallmouth and things like that, but it makes perfect sense when you consider their like physiology so here we go i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it let me see if i can point it out so here's the tube right here that peacock is right there on the other side of it so we're gonna see if we can't get it to eat this lure boy what is going on chad oh there we go all right so we're gonna reel this thing in Get it right above the bed that she's guarding and kill it. Oh, she, dude, she mouthed it the first time and I waited too long. Yeah, they do that a lot. Golly. Know. They were French kiss for a couple of times and then. Gosh, she s completely swallowed it and then spit it out before I could set the hook. And then the next time I set the hook and she was. So this cat and mouse thing that we're doing right now is what makes peacock bass fishing and a lot of this Florida canal fishing so fun is because it's honestly like equal parts hunting and fishing. So, and I wish you guys could, I hope y'all can see this fish and uh, in the video, let me see if the, and then maybe I can punch in on the edit and, and bring her a little closer, but she is fired up. Oh, got her, got her. 
Oh yeah. There you go. Booyah. <laughs> All right, so look. Mission freaking accomplished, guys. We got a peacock. Now, that is not a monster, but that is a gorgeous little fish that we played the cat and mouse game with for like five minutes and finally got her to eat. Now, odds are we can walk around and catch four or five more fish just like this by simply walking the bank and finding them on the beds or finding them guarding a the spot. We got a peacock here in Florida from the bank sight casting to this chick and got her to literally eat sight casting. Took me five, six casts. Uh, Nick also threw a bait in there. We're gonna go over here and get a cool release shot in this clear water and watch this beautiful fish swim away. Here we go. You find another one already, bro? Where it be? Oh, dude. Dude. Bro. It swiped at it like big time. Where's she guarding? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. She's guarding right back, back side of that rock. You see her right there? Well, when I saw her. Dude, 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 dude. She's going. She's going. She's going. She's going. Oh, she got it. She, oh. Here, let's, let's tag team her. Tag team back again. Check it, wreck it, let's begin. Party on, party people. Hey, 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 girl. Hey, girl. I don't know if you noticed, right on the other side of the bank, that big. Oh, who? Oh, who? I think we're in money right now. Oh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. You don't want that. No, no, I don't want squirrel hunting or iguanas. I want peas. I'll take some peas, please. She's right there. She's coming this way towards that rock now. Yeah, I lost oh, there was a mine right behind. Probably lost. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, she's chasing bait. She's swimming up in here chasing all this bait through here. There you go. Oh, nice, dude. Nice hookup. Nice, nice. Yeah, buddy. Bro, look at that thing. Sir. Yes, sir. Dude, they pull like a freight train. And they don't quit. Even after you get them on the bank, they're still like doing everything they can to get away. Yeah, son. Pick that joker up and hold it up to the Camara right there. Oh, Yo guys, yeah. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Yeah, but. So, mission accomplished. Nick has now caught a peacock. I caught a peacock. Now the rest of the day is freaking gravy. Good job, bro. All right, brother. Boom. Show everybody what you caught it on real quick. Very fun. So, I caught it on a Uzuri um, mirror bait. I'm not really quite sure what the name is, but. Crystal Minnow. Crystal minnow. Yeah, I think crystal it is. minnow. Yeah, I think it's a crystal bait. minnow jerk. Oh, yeah, look at that, son. Yeah. But basically, I mean, anything that flashes, I mean, lures that flash have those treble hooks, I mean, you're going to catch them. Yeah, dude. Small bait matching these bait that they're chasing exactly, down the bank yeah, right here. Yeah. And uh, they can't stand a little bit of flash in this slightly stained water. That fish came up from the bottom and ate it. Mm -hmm. it Good job, close. bro. Nice. Cool. Thank you, man. Two peacock laying under this little, I mean, it was just a branch sticking off the bank. And I literally made like five or six casts to them and they were completely oh defensive to protecting the spot uh but i was actually on a phone call <laughs> and pitched out there and let the the dart flutter down they saw that gold flitter one ran out and rammed it and then the other one came out of nowhere and just annihilated it look at that right there that's what you come to south florida right there for now it's time to cue the sick slow-mo release That was too quick. <laughs> <sighs> well, that was awesome. Guys, I got to be honest with you. 
I think I just realized that I might not have got that eat on the GoPro on my chest. And that's gonna suck if I didn't, but still caught the fish. It was still freaking awesome. And more importantly, there's still a bunch of them up and down the bank. And I still got a couple hours before I gotta fly back to Tennessee. So here we go. Look, this one right here by the log too is tucked in. Yeah. See it? You can catch that one too. Oh, you got him? I didn't take it long. Hold on. <laughs> that was Dude, look at this. That was fast. Nick just throws in there by that log and catches that second fish of the two right where I caught the first one. And of course, I had the camera off for that one too. Good night, dude. They are so freaking pretty, man. Hold that thing up to the camera. God, look at that thing. Wait until he finishes. You do not want to get it. There we go. So my trick is I always get them by the gills like this. There you go, yeah. And they stop squirming. Yeah. It works every time. Nice. Caught it on a rattle trap, huh? Yeah, switched up to a rattle trap because I was noticing they were a little deep, so. Yeah. Try to try to get to them. Love it. Look at that. Good job, man. All right, bro. Oh, oh, hey, that's Chase. what they're chasing. Get over there. Get over there. Oh, look at that, son. Guys, Nick just uh, cast in there. I freaking threw that fish about 40 times, and Nick just threw in there, and uh, second cast caught it. Bro, look at that. What'd you catch it on? It's my secret bait. Oh, look at that fish is well hydrated. You see that? Hold that it up. Thing. That fish is well hydrated. Look at that. Thirsty? Yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, What's up, baby? What's up, fish? Brock in the real tree aspect. Look at you. Oh, man. I love this shirt. Say, Dad, everything I do is a representation of what you've taught me. Just say that. Hey, he's only six, man. He's throwing a bait caster. Look at him. Yeah, man. They were just waiting on you to show up with those shoes. You like my boat shoes? Love them. I like the fact that the reel matches the shoes. That's awesome. Oh, no, I was talking about his shoes, bro, not yours. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to make it about yourself, man. I'm talking about, the, like, I'm talking about the kids, no? Hey, no, those are like, uh, always looking. Always those, are, those are Florida um, dress shoes, ain't they? Yeah. Look at them. Go out in the coast with over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Work, fishing, into the bar. You gotta, you gotta use the white ones though. The I know what you did last summer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> boots. Come on, right? Catch this peacock here, dude. It's not that we want to put a lot of pressure on you, but we're counting on you to make the video, buddy. Ooh, you gonna be on YouTube? YouTube? Keep your on it. Oh, there he is. Look at him, buddy. He's coming up in there. Aggressive. No, I was just talking about for the shade. I wasn't worried about the heat. Probably there was one right in front of you, buddy. He just swam away. Oh, there he is. See him right there, deep? Look to your right a little bit, Riley. A little right, your other right. There you go, right there. Straight out in front of you. He's out there a little deep. That's a cichlid right there, but there's a peacock right out past it. Right behind him. See him right there now? Look to your right a little bit. Yep, yep. You know your other right. Again. There you go, right there, right there. Look, he's coming up shallow. Put it, put it out in front of him. Put, oh, he's looking at him. He's right at him. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Get him, Rolly. There you go. He's the old flip cast. Son. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Push the spin button, spin cast, or whatever they're called. Probably says shit. I'm just going to get up on top of him. Eat it, baby. Eat it. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, you just poked him in the head. That's awesome. <laughs> Bro, your matching game is on point, though. I've did videos about this in the past, guys. I got to show you. Look. Riley got them Nikes right there with the green, and he's got the green reel. What's up, bro? Oh, look at that peacock right there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. There's literally a peacock right there. Riley, pull that bait in and let it fall in front of him and just let it sit on bottom and shake it a little bit and see if you can get him to eat it. Oh, you know what's up. Good job, buddy. There he is. Oh, look at him angling. Oh, look at you, buddy.
Nice. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Right after we finished filming, Riley was able to connect with a nice peacock bass to finish the day. Then we went and had a nice dinner before I flew back to Tennessee. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you like this and you want to see more, go check out my Toad Trip series available exclusively through Realtree 365. Hey, Riley. So, did you have a one on one tournament with your dad today? Yeah. Who won? Me. What you got to say about that? I wasn't even fishing. I was just watching him fish. No, you were fishing. Oh, I was fishing. You just I weren't catch catching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't catch anything. Ooh, whoa. We got him, Riley. Pound it out. Good job. There he is. Yeah! Mm. Look at that tank! <laughs>